Hi. Today I'm going to show you my favorite sequence of yoga poses that I like to do both before and after I go for a little ride. So I like to start with what's called a forward fold or half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana for yoga. Walk the feet back so that you can stretch your back out. I hold on to the bike for support. It also allows me to lengthen the spine even more. So settling in here, maybe bending and straightening the legs a few times, loosening up the hamstrings. And then allowing the chest to sink more towards the ground. Just opening up the upper back in order to counter the rounding that we do as we're riding. It's very similar. I just let the legs come nice and wide apart. A wide leg forward fold. Same principle. You can use the bike to help get that extension in the back. Releasing those inner thighs. Stretching the arms and shoulders. Heel toe to feet back towards each other. And take what's called a standing figure four. Cross right ankle over the left. Have a seat. It's also called a one leg chair. And while I'm sitting here, I often let my foot do some circles one way and then the other, loosening up through the ankle. And once I start to feel that outer thigh release, I like to take it a little deeper, straightening the leg I'm standing on and folding forward. So again, you use your bike to steady your balance. Come back upright, switching sides, left ankle over the right thigh, have a seat, circling the foot one way and then the other, Good. and then to take it a little deeper, straightening that leg you're standing on, folding forward. Now, as you hold on to the bike for these exercises, it's a good idea. One hand is on the brake. That way the bike doesn't roll away from you. And coming back upright. Moving into my lunge series next. Step close to the bike. The back foot reaches back. The heel dropping down towards the earth. Front knee over that front ankle. Just stretching out the calf muscle here. Then I go ahead and come all the way down onto my back knee, stretching that back foot out just as far as it will go. Rest the knee on the ground and then rock slightly forward so you're not right on the kneecap but on that tissue in front of it. Tailbone drops down, navel scoops into the spine. Inhale, lift through the rib cage, and then to make this more intense, take the arm and reach it up overhead, reaching to the sky, maybe even letting the gaze follow. Bring that hand back to the bike. I like to reach around and add a quadricep stretch at this point, taking hold of that back foot, pulling it in towards the bottom. Now, if this is too intense for you, you can do the quadricep stretch standing as well, of course. This is just a way to make it all blend together. And release that foot down. Coming to my second side. Starting with the calf stretch, so that back leg is straight, heel reaching towards the earth. And settling down into a deeper lunge, this is called a crescent lunge. Bring that 
back foot rest down. Tucking the tailbone down, scooping the navel into the spine, get a little more stretch in that hip flexor. And then for more intensity, reach that arm up overhead. So if your left leg is stretched back, it would be your left arm that you reach overhead. So it stays on the same side of the body. back down. If you like to add the quadricep stretch, bend that back leg, reach around. I like to reach around with the opposite hand. Take hold, draw that heel towards the bottom. And then release back down. At this point I like to set my bike down. Tuck my toes under, come to what's called hero's pose. Find a little stretching on the quadriceps, but it also helps to release the toes. Just let the weight of the body sink down over the heel. Our sit bones ground down, but we lift the muscles of the pelvic floor up. Scoop the navel in snugly towards the spine. Hug the side waist in and up and from there create length all the way up into the crown of the head. And we add our breathing. I like to do the winged breath because it opens up through the chest, again, to counter the roundedness from when I'm riding. So inhale, I open the arms out wide, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other and then down towards the waist, lifting the heart, broadening the collarbone, shifting the gaze towards the sky. And then exhale, return the hands to the heart, let the gaze drop to the hands so the neck gets a little bit of a stretch as well. Inhale, we open and expand. Exhale, we return to stretch. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale. Now, if this is uncomfortable for your knees, you can always sit cross-legged on the ground rather than in hero's pose. At this point, I then let the tops of my feet relax onto the ground. Once again, sit back down in hero's. Take a breath or two here. And then move into what's called seated camel. Bringing my hands around towards my feet. Press the fingertips in either to my feet or to the ground right next to the feet. Lifting through the heart and lifting the gaze towards the sky. A bit of a baby back bend here. Now, if you like to make this more intense, you can take the camel's pose, in which case, just come onto your knees, keeping the hips directly above the knees. Hands go in the back pockets. Same movement, lifting and opening through the chest, strengthening the upper back. And if you like to take this a little deeper, you can tuck your back toes under once more. Reach one hand down to the back heel, reach the other hand to the other heel, and lift into a deeper back bend to it. Now, if you want more intensity still, you just let the tops of the feet come back to the ground. ready to come out of it. One hand comes to the back pocket, the other hand joins, you sit back down. From here, just allow the hands to rest on the thighs, sitting up straight and tall, allowing the eyes to close now, allowing the breath to slow down, maybe allowing the mind to slow down as well. Taking several slow, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose.
and then opening the eyes back up. And you're ready to move on with your day. Give it a try.